Mary Mallon, better known as Typhoid Mary, was a real historical figure who unknowingly became a notorious carrier of the typhoid fever in the early 20th century. Mary Mallon was born on September 23, 1869, in Cookstown, County Tyrone, Ireland. Mallon immigrated to the United States in 1883 when she was approximately 15 years old. She initially worked as a domestic servant, and over time, she became known for her skills as a cook. She worked as a cook for wealthy families in New York City in the early 1900s. Little did she know that she carried a dangerous bacterium called Salmonella typhi, the cause of typhoid fever. Mary's life took an unexpected turn when members of the first household she worked for fell ill with typhoid fever. Determined to protect herself and her reputation, she moved on to another job. However, tragedy struck again when typhoid fever broke out among the second family as well. News of the mysterious outbreaks reached the authorities, who began investigating the source of the infections. They soon discovered that Mary had been present at both households and had not fallen ill herself. Intrigued, they took her into custody and tested her for the presence of the bacteria. The test results confirmed their suspicions. Mary was an asymptomatic carrier of the typhoid bacteria, meaning she could spread the disease to others without showing any symptoms herself. Concerned for public health, the authorities decided to isolate Mary to prevent further outbreaks. Mary was annoyed, she felt healthy and couldn't understand why they would accuse her of being a threat. She strongly denied any responsibility for the disease's spread. Nevertheless, in 1907 the authorities quarantined her on North Brother Island, located in the East River, where she spent three years in isolation. Confined to the island, Mary felt like a prisoner. She resented the situation, considering herself a victim of unjust treatment. She vehemently fought against her confinement, considering it an infringement on her personal freedom. Over the years, she made numerous appeals to be released, arguing that she posed no harm. In 1910, Malin was released with the condition that she would not work as a cook again. However, she disregarded this restriction and changed her identity, working as a cook under different names. Her actions led to additional outbreaks, and public health officials became determined to detain her once again. In 1915, Malin was located and placed under indefinite quarantine again on North Brother Island, where she spent her remainder life isolated from the world. She lived in this house from 1915 to 1938. She became known as Typhoid Mary in the media, her story capturing public attention. Despite her seclusion, Mary maintained her stubbornness and continued to believe that she was being unfairly punished. At the age of 69 she passed away due to pneumonia without fully comprehending the role she played in the spread of typhoid fever. Her story serves as a cautionary tale about the potential danger of asymptomatic carriers and the importance of public health measures in combating infectious diseases. Thanks for watching.